Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, sorry for the delay there. Uh, my name is Martin Meadows, and uh, Don, uh, who you've, you've all met, is going to be helping out, and both of us are representing the Moodle Association of Japan. So uh, the, the topic today is talking about, uh, it's the story of our effort to move from what we already have. Some of you are um, probably familiar with that. Uh, it's called the showcase, and Don, as the prime mover of that, will go into it, and move from that to MoodleNet. So, um, okay, must be manual then. Okay, uh, so yes, uh, the outline is basically we'll just start with a brief introduction and then Don will uh, look after the history of what we call the, uh, of sharing content in the Moodle Association of Japan. And then I'll relate a little bit our experiences in trying to set up a MoodleNet server and where we are now and then finally uh, end with some questions, okay? So, uh, sorry, Don. The history of, of MoodleNet is old. So, it, 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 in fact, the word MoodleNet was used a long time ago. Here's the story of my, of my connection to history. I started talking to my, <laughs> my wife says, don't talk like a teacher, <laughs> uh, repository. You know, around coffee and beer, we, we, we would talk about sharing things back in 2006. And it was fun. And we said, we used the word repository. And then in 2007, a couple of us said, well, I know how to program PHP. And uh, why don't we make a sharing cart so we can share things? And we made a sharing cart. And the sharing cart is now one of the, the more popular plugins in Moodle. And then Moodle instituted the publish icon where you could send things to MoodleNet. And then uh, they stopped it suddenly. And is anyone here from Alberta, Canada? Anyone? No? Okay. But there were two, two people using MoodleNet at that time when, 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 the, uh, when HQ stopped the hub, stopped the publish function. And, and uh, we, we immediately jumped up and said, what happened? Why did you stop it? And they said, oh, sorry, sorry, we'll, we'll help you keep it going. And uh, we, we started to keep it going and we changed our name to the showcase, showcasing new courses. And the best thing that happened in 2012, we started awards. Why? We started awards because people didn't want to give the courses, to share the courses. It's too much trouble. I have to clean it up before I can share it. Or there are a few things that have a copyright that I, 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 I don't know what to do with. Okay? So when we started giving awards, people started Start getting that recognition was very important for those teachers. And now we have MoodleNet started, and Paul just gave a great vision of that. The repository, uh, what we learned from there is instead of learning object sharing, we shared whole courses. Why? Because the context, you have to see the context of what you're learning. And then you can use the sharing cart to take the pieces you want. If you, if you take a whole course and you don't want it all, just use the sharing card to take a piece here and there. Sharing card is a cherry picking tool, okay? Next, uh, in the publish, the course administration, you would click on publish and it would send to a sharing hub and you would enter metadata. So we learned a lot about metadata, what metadata was important because that's how people search. Now, Paul has really worked on this in the new MoodleNet. So I, I feel like everything in terms of that is solved now. Now, here is our hub. This is how it looks, except we have a banner at the top. So over here are the list of courses that were contributed in the past year in Japan. So you'll have maybe 10 or 20 courses. And then we have our whole 
you know, five-year catalog of about 50 or 100. Could you go back one more? And then, then over here, this is the box where a teacher gives their course. Now, teachers don't know what is an MBZ file. So we had to sort of teach teachers, download your course, it will have an MBZ at the end. It means Moodle best zip file. I think. And it, you just drag that in there and it will go into your hub. Okay? So we made three, three plugins to make an easy contribution. And these plugins are working. Just drag and drop your MBZ file and it goes in. You enter me metadata along the way. Then we have course info. And this is cool. Lots of rating systems and reviews. So we've got reviews, and someone asks, how do you tell the quality? It comes from the reviews of peers and judges. We have judges. Martin is head of a judging committee of 10 people in, in uh, Japan. And these 10 people look at all the courses contributed and decide which ones are the best. And people really want that. And here's what it looks like. Here's what a first prize looks like. Uh, for best open courseware. And its certificate is given once a year to the four best courses in Japan. And here's one of them. It's a sports theory one. And this integrates sports training and Moodle. Okay, next. And these are some of the people who are involved when we have an HQ come to our conference, like Mary, we involve her in the judging panel. Next. And this is, this is where Federation, we're going to move our showcase into MoodleNet. So here is Japan, and here we have our showcase, and we're going to change this to MoodleNet. That's going to be our Federation. And we're still going to give those prizes and awards because we're going to look at our community but share to the world. Over here, this is Germany, and you're going to see a star here for Greece for Spain, for Italy, and so on, as these Moodle nets grow and appear. OK, thanks, Don. Um, so yeah, you see where we're coming from. And uh, we have you know, the showcase. It works. It works for us. So really, the first question then is, why do we want a local Moodle net? Why? Oh, is this also on? So why? Why? Why a local Moodle net? And Paul sort of went into this a little bit, but uh, we want to curate our own resources, right? We want to um, we want to exercise a little bit of uh, quality control on the resources, and we want to re reward excellences, excellence, which is what we already do with the showcase. Uh, we want to be the face of Moodle in Japan. We are the Moodle Association of Japan. New Moodlers in Japan tend to, to come to us first. Uh, we want to create a local community based on, on the shared resources of our community. Uh, we want to play an active role in supporting and building the Japanese Moodle community. Um, we want to tie it in, tie the, uh, the MoodleNet in with our annual conference, our Moot, and uh, our showcase awards. Um, we want to motivate the creation of new content. And finally, we want to create a repository of Japanese language resources managed in Japanese for the Japanese community. Okay. Now, the next, the next question then is, uh, why MoodleNet? You know, what's, what's wrong with the showcase? Well, um, MoodleNet's the future. And uh, Paul, in his kindness, has let us look a little bit into the cookie jar. And uh, yeah. It's, it seems to be the way we're going forward, and we want to be a part of that. We want to get in on the ground floor kind of thing. Um, things change and evolve, and uh, we've felt the passion of people like Paul and everyone on the, on the MoodleNet uh, team. Okay. Um, we're excited about Federation. Um, Paul said that'll be out in MoodleNet 3 or the next generation. We don't know. We're excited about it, but we don't really have a vision of it yet. We don't know how that's going to work. Um, but the, what interests us or what excites us is the chance to push our resources to a wider audience and, and share with a global 
global mutual community, and also to, to let the world find us come in. And it's because it's open to all. Um, we're excited about the future-proof architecture. Um, you know, no PHP and things like that. And uh, broadening the scope of things that can be shared. Um, so, moving from the showcase to MoodleNet, um, I'm not really a techie guy, but you know, uh, I've worked with Moodle maybe 15 years now, and so over the years, I've, I have a, I can get a server going, I can install Moodle, and I can manage those things. Um, so, MoodleNet was a bit of a challenge. Uh, this, I don't want to get too techy, but I just got a very low-grade Linode server, uh, one gig of RAM, one core, uh, installed Debian 11, and then Node.js was, was easy to install, Arango database, also easy. Installing and configuring MoodleNet, mm, not so easy. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Um, Paul was talking about making that uh, easier. So looking forward to some documentation. I had a hard time finding any documentation. Um, and then HTTPS, making it a secure site was, was a bit of a challenge as well, because it's uh, currently HTTP only. Um, so where are we now? Uh, we have we have a MoodleNet site, or at least you can open a browser and see MoodleNet Japan, but you can't really do anything yet. Um, it's viewable on web browsers. We, uh, uh, the, the mail server is not running, but we'll get that done in the next couple of days, and users can begin to create accounts and uh, upload content. Um, the showcase is, uh, it served us well. Um, Sorry, okay. Um, you know, there are things that we want to, to bring from the showcase. So the showcase is currently a Moodle 4 installation and uh, it's customized, it has 10 years of content and it's accessible to existing um, Moodle Association of Japan site users. And so we will, you know, we're, we're working on that transition in the coming days. Uh, where do we go from here? Uh, we want to customize the, our MoodleNet, and uh, Paul has told us a little bit about future customization op options. In, at the moment, it's that, that purple login screen that you saw. Um, we're going to go about transferring content from the showcase. Uh, we have, oh, I, I don't, I haven't counted, about 100 courses up there, so I'd like to get those carried over to, uh, to the MoodleNet. Uh, we want to promote the MADGE MoodleNet and encourage content sharing among our, our members. And we want to get federated. Um, and we'll look to the MoodleNet team on advice, for advice on how to do that. And uh, server specs are very low grade at the moment, but it's, uh, it's Linode, so it's, it's upscalable. As use increases, we hope to um, upgrade the server. So um, just some of the questions and concerns for the future. Well, I mentioned how do we get federated. Um, how long do we keep the MAD Showcase? That's probably our biggest question right now. I mean, is the MAD Showcase works, and it's, it's good. Um, do we hold on to it? Do we run the Showcase side by side with MoodleNet? Or do we, you know, eventually fade out uh, the Showcase? Um, one nice feature of the Showcase is, the, you know, you can experience the courses that are shared. Um, how will MoodleNet allow us to try before we buy? kind of thing, or, you know, the Amazon look inside sort of thing before you, you send it to your Moodle. Um, we're talking with Paul yesterday, maybe one thing we're thinking of that we could do with the Moodle Association of Japan is provide kind of a, a sandbox Moodle so that, um, you know, people who don't have their own Moodle but want to download the course can, can um, play with it. Um, and we have the showcase awards, so how do we reward excellence and encourage contributions? Um, how do we access the opinions of other users? How do, how do people, I mean, there's a like button, or it seems to be a like button, but uh, in the showcase now, users can write reviews and uh, give stars. So how can people um, make recommendations of, of excellent uh, courseware? Um, how do we develop a, a course with a collection or a team? How will we manage contributions? And how can we eventually then take ownership of our own Moodle net? So time is running low. Um, that's basically where we are right now. Um, 
with MoodleNet. It's, it's still very preliminary stage, but we're um, excited about being part of it going forward. If you have any questions or, um, well, questions now, and if you would like to contact either me or, or Don later on, uh, here are our mail addresses. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs>